And welcome back to yet another video. And today it's a today it's a big one. It's the comparison of Ottoman Sipahi Turkish bows. Because many always ask me which bow shall I get? What's the best bow for me? There is no simple answer because it depends always on the same parameters. The first thing is what's your budget. The second is what is your preferred maximum draw length. The third is do you live in a hot, humid environment? Then maybe laminated bows are not good for you. You need to go for something else. And the fourth thing is, do you simply only like the shape of a Turkish bow or shall it really look a bit more historically correct? And once you answer all these questions for yourself and maybe one other consideration is in what poundages the bows are available. So when you start, of course, you only want to have whatever, 30, 35 pounds. But of course, later on, maybe you want something heavy and then you see the differences. What I have for you today here is, of course, way not every bow possible. On the lower end, my cheapest bow starts now at 142 euros. It's the RFP, the reinforced fiber plastic bow from AF Archery. Of course, you can have uh, fiberglass bows cheaper, like the ones that the Turkish bow from Ali Bow. It's a straight fiberglass and has in this big more chunky wood here on it there are many out of it in this way and then there are 80 or 100 dollars or something so they are a little cheaper mine starts here with 128 uh, 142 it's the cheapest one this is 50 inches long and what matters for me is always the length from knock to knock and the maximum draw length this one is as example 30 inches and then you get an f value out of it and this is for me important because let's say 30 inches, almost every bow does 30 inches, but they are different length. So the shorter the bow and the longer the draw, the higher the F value. And this is a number which I consider, which is for me important. And as example, this one has a F value, if I get the rubber band back now, of 0 0.6. It's quite already very good. And uh, the poundage, this one is from 20 to 50 pounds. The second bow is then already a laminated bow. This is the Buck Trail Flint. It's a pretty nice one, laminated, and you can have this for around 150 euros ish. Sometimes you find them cheaper. This bow is 48 and a half and does 31 inches supposedly. Gives him an F value of 062. And you can have this bow from 25 to 55 pounds. Number three is then again a, I call them now plastic, but it's polycarbonate one piece something. This is Ochubaba Premium. This one is, where do I have it? 30, uh, 46 inches from knock to knock, does 30 inches. So it gives him an F value of 066. I don't know what poundages you can have now this bow. It's roughly 163 euros. Then you can have a bending fiberglass, like this one from Arif Budiman, which is a really nice one. Of course, color-wise, I wanted to have a white bow. That's why it's white. You can have almost every color. So here you save, compared to the normal laminated bows, they, this whole part is out of wood, gets a lot of weight. He has bending fiberglass, so this section bends a little too. And then only this part here, the, the end, the head, is then... Uh, in wood so you save a lot of weight gives this bow a bit more dynamic this one is 46 inches and unfortunately it does only uh, 29 inches max draw gives it a 063 f value and the poundages are 30 35 pounds because they have one thickness of fiberglass and then the length and then you get in this poundage range only but it's 167 euros so it's still quite affordable the laminated bow from AF, the Chu Ye, I think. A really nice one with a very narrow arrow pass. And this bow is 49 inches and has a max draw of 32. Gives it an F value of 0.65. You can have it from 20 to 50 pounds and this one costs 225 euros plus shipping. Next on the list, I only have the old model, but there's a new model out. It's from Istvan Schimeister in Hungary 
his version of uh, an Ottoman bow and then you see there is no spine, he lets the spine run on the back so you have a more guidance for the string. It's 240 euros, 48 and a half inches, that's 33 inches the new one. This is a 068 so it's a really good F value and you can have this bow from 30 to 50 pounds. Then we have Ali bow, the Janissary, a really nice one and I like this curvature a little more than this this one. You see the difference? I like this one more, but that's me, personal preference. Um, it's a 49 and a half, does 30 inches, it gives it a 06 F value from 20 to 50 pounds. And I said it's kind of 250 euros, but including shipping. So I'm cheating here a bit because this one you can ship for free. The next one is in again with nice curvature. It's the Weg, short Zipahi. Weg, Weg, I don't know. Really nice one. And what do we have here? It does, is 48 and a half, does 31 inches, gives it 6064, and you can have it from 30 to 55 pounds. And it costs 299, shipping in Europe free, and outside of Europe you need to pay shipping. Then it starts already with ho ho with the Simsex. And here, in, as an example, I take the short Sipahi from Simsex. Because then you see what I just meant. This bow is just 41 and a half inches from knock to knock, but still does 29 inches and this gives it an F value of 0 0.7. And this is the best uh, F value I ever saw. So this is very short, but still you can draw it long 0 0.7. And the nice thing, you can have this bow from 30 to 99 pounds. If you want it really heavy, draw it, you can have this one. It's 350 euros plus shipping, and it's just pretty. And we come to the big one. It's the Solak from Paragon. Obviously, this is our workhouse, our tool, our weapon. Only dirty, not scratched. Pretty nice. And the Paragon is 50 inches, does 32. So you have an F value of 064. You can have this from 28 to 60 pounds and it costs 360 euros roughly give or take plus shipping and at the end don't want to see it's my favorite say it's my favorite but it's my favorite <laughs> it's the short, the short turkish sipahi from lukas navalny look at this shape it's simply it's a monolith bow means here you have synthetic materials but here and here is still a little wood included so it's not completely synthetic or plastic artificial uh, this one is 45 inches from knock to knock, does 28 inches, gives it a 0 0.62. I drew this bow already 30 inches, but it's not recommended. You can have this bow from 20 to 80 pounds, so, hmm, but it's 550 euros without any of these decorations, without fake uh, horn belly. With all this, you pay most probably something around 800 euros, but we see then when we shoot. And of course, then. <coughs> Above this would be then, not above this, but uh, there would be the Grosje Biocomposite. I had it here, but I don't have it here to show anymore, which would be a nice one. It's 53 inches, does 32, gives it a 0 0.6. And you could have this bow from 30 to 65 pounds and it's 390 euros. Then let's start. These bows are roughly all in the same poundage. So this one is 35 pounds, so they're all 34, 35. 40 pound ish so quite comparable i shoot 400 grain and 300 grain arrows the rfp from af archery reinforced fiber plastic cool. for the price wow unfortunately right now they don't have them in stock because they had problems getting them Not too slow. These are now new arrows. Thank you, Danny. You built them just right now for me. <laughs> awesome bow for the price. And I like the feeling. It kicks a little with the more lightweight arrows, but as long as you stay in the recommended grain per pound, which is, I think, nine this bow it's a little long for my taste and then it has only 30 inches i think would be nice if this bow would do 32 
but it does 32 but they limit it now to 30 and of course if you want to know and if you want to see because you're curious look over there nice group so next is the buck trail it's a 40 pounder i just opened the box so i still had this one completely new i guess it will do 30 inches you don't get many or a lot of information for this bow nice 400 grains, 10 grain, a bit less maybe. Full draw. These are the 300, uh, 300 grain. So 30 inches here is nice. With the 300 grain, kicks a little in the hand. Oops, 400 works just fine. Maybe something in between. But with this one, It's nice, but my group is not so nice. The Okjo Baba Premium A1 piece, I don't polycarbonate, I don't know anymore. The handle is very small of this one, so you need to really, it's, it's more like the Ottoman head, but you need to get used to it and the sticker on the side. But for the price, wait a second, like this, looks better, center serving wise. But you can shoot this bow in both directions. Kicks a little, even with 400 grain, and it's a 41 pound. So then you feel the difference. But it's a solid workhorse. Oh, kicks quite a bit. Right, with 300 grain. But shoots nice. But I don't know, I don't see myself shooting this a lot. So it kicks and it feels a little, the small handle and everything. This, when I hold the bow, I already hold it here on the limb. So it's a little edgy there. So it's for me not comfortable. And the group is decent. Of course, I don't go too deep now into all the specs and speeds and whatever I did of every of these bows uh, extended review which you can check. So this one does only 29 inches. I put the link in the description. Ooh, hi. Mm. This one is really good. <laughs> so 300 grain. There's not a lot going on. It's a really nice bow. Not if Budimon knows how to. And you see two groups. The right group are the 400 grain and the, the left group. What I just wanted to say before the audio was failing, if this one would be, yeah, I mean, almost as 30 inches, a little longer. 31 inches max draw, then this would be one of the perfect bows. Next one is the AF Archery Shu Yue, and I like this one because it is a very narrow arrow pass. And this bow is not wiggly or wobbly at all, so this bow is really nice and simply delivers. So, this is a really nice bow. Done with them, is the max of 32. Gets a little stiff at the end, so it doesn't drop that nice back there. Even the more lightweight arrows and you feel it a little in your hand, but it's still fine. Oops, I don't show them now again. So, very predictable, very nice to shoot. Next on the list is Schimeister. The Turkish bow. This one is the old model, which does only 28 inches. The new model does, I think, even 33 inches. But I don't have it here. So, but only to see that this bow is a nice shooter, and it really where you point the arrow goes. Nice. And for the price, 240 euros. A nice laminated bow. And the new one is really a smooth draw. Ooh, string twist didn't work. <laughs> so you need to do cut draw and string twist. It works. 
nice. So this is really 240 euros. You can't go wrong with this. Not the old model. This does only throw 28. New one, just for. Next is the Janissary from Alibo. The head first, a Turkish bow, which was a little, I don't know, was nice, but this is a complete different league. It does, I think, 31? Oh, I forgot now, but you can simply check the videos and then you see what they are doing. This is a pretty bow. And the shooting experience is just incroyable. Mist. Nice. So this draw experience of this one and how it shoots, it's just nice. Nice. So. <sighs> if I have to choose AF Shima is to this one, it would be this one. What I simply don't like on the Janissary is this wiggliness here, but you have it, deal with it. The next one, the direct competitor, even from the from the curves here, not so really. It's quite a tad shorter, but still does 30. I forgot now the VEC. You check on the list or I write it there. He has the same issue. I don't like this, but it is like it is. But the draw experience of this Big short tip, he is simply wow, and the handle is just perfect. <laughs> Says it and missed the target. I'm still capable of hitting it. Nice. And what I like is the white center serving, so you see it easy. Just in case you look there. This, this is a nice one and it's 2.99 free shipping in Europe <laughs> total no-brainer now it gets a little awkward the max draw is 28 inches of the short sipahi but this is looks like a toy but these arrows are now of course way too long and a little too heavy but this narrow arrow pass here and then for this a quite good uh, brace height this thing is you don't expect that this thing will shoot wow this is nice the only thing this Bow needs a few shots because the handle is really small, so you really need to figure how to hold this bow. But once you get it, it takes a few shots, and then it's this is there is no tomorrow with this bow. This is awesome, and there is no nothing going on. So this one is really 350 or 60 euros without this decoration. You don't expect this to be, but if you're looking for the shortest Turkish bow right now. 41 and a half inches from knock to knock and has an FLF of 07. So this is Solak by Paragon. No words needed, check the review. This is simply a the trustworthy tool, the weapon, the, you know, if you have to go to war, most probably to take this one. This is simply an awesome bow. 360, I think, I forgot now. Kicks a little, so this is what I didn't like that much on this one, and it's the only bow from Paragon, which has this really a little. Mm, the rider and the can don't have this that much, but precision and accuracy here is built in. You point roughly where you want to shoot, <laughs> but the arrow still goes there. You can do even a little string twist if you want. Nice bow. So this one is, yeah, I can't say anything. This is a pretty bow, extremely well crafted, and this is simply Mr. Trustworthy. So there, there I would never mind and never think this is straight. There is no. 
Das Schwarzipahi Schwarzipa bei Lukas Nawalny. Es ist simply out of this world. The shooting experience of this one compared to all the others. I mean, you get what you pay for. Also no. Can't wait for my Korean. Oh, a fast, snappy. Ah, really, really nice. Try 30 meters with the AF uh, RFP. And the heavy arrows. Nice. The right height, a little to the right. This bow is really good. Ooh, that was a bad shot. Yeah, but mm -hmm. so here we go with the flint. Buck trail. Same arrows. Same distance. Ooh, nice. Yep, it's not a bad bow for the price. The only thing is with buck trail, the quality control is not so good. Though in the video I did with the 50 pounder directly broke, the 30 pounder is still in work, and this 40 pounder feels really good. Tiller is good, so it's not a bad bow for the price. Ochubaba Premium. Same arrows, same distance. At the end, this bow doesn't want to draw that nice. So this is, I don't know. But it does the job. It's not so bad. It's simply not my favorite. Mr. White. 29 inch max draw. I wish this one would do 31 or 32. Could be easily one of my favorite bows then for this price. Look at this, how he kicks these arrows away. So, he constantly, and then you adapt. Great. So then the Chu Yue from AF, with this narrow arrow pass, I really like. 31 inches max, I forgot now. This is simply a nice bow. Look at this. <laughs> Center shot. Really, really a good bow. She might of course, only the short row version, so might not be that promising now. <laughs> but. Oops, bad shot. Yeah. The longer draw is nicer, but AF so far better. Uh, Alibo Janissary, the mini Keshik. I made the mini Keshik. It's only a little weak, but doesn't stop me from shooting the center. Oh, I was a little overdone. I got stuck with the knock, or something with my knock, so that's why I bad shot out of the box of center, so this is really a nice bow. Better than the AF. Vic, short tip 34 pounds. This is a little heavy then. I shot this one coach knock, that's why it was a little sharp and I got stuck on my glove. That's why I ruined the shot. Oh, okay. A little low, but it's only 34 pounds. Oh, too high, but still centers. Look at this. This is really an accurate one. <laughs> Center shot, awesome. <sighs> Could not decide between Alibo and AF uh, and and Vec. So now we're talking Simsek Schwarzipahi. This one it's very short and the handle is very small, so in the arrows are now way too long. Should not be an excuse that I miss, don't miss the target. I know. Yeah, still a kill. Not too bad, but this bow takes a few shots until you get 
used to, but it's directly out of the box. Really, really good. I love this book. So like Paragon, no words needed and usually not many shots needed. Okay. We should tilt the bow a little bit, huh? Well, still to the right. Yeah. A few shots and then you're there. Awesome. And last but not least, the short one, the snappy one. One of my favorite bows. And yes, I will do a top 10 soon of my favorite bows. More powerful than you always think. But this bow does exactly you shoot one arrow and then you know what this bow is doing. <laughs> it's still too high. Incredible bow, needs a few shots. That's enough shooting now, it starts raining. I only wanted to show you that in every price category you can get a really good bow. So even the cheapest one, this RFP from AF is a really pretty good bow. It's only a little long for the draw it has, but it really does a job very well. The flint from Buck Trail for a first time bow, I would not go with 40 pounds then of course, but this one in 30 did just nice and here even 40 pounds, nothing to complain. The Okjubaba is a little more, there's this historical design with the spine here, but for the rest completely in one color leather wrapped, a little boring from the optics. Shoots not that bad, but it kicks a little and over time I'm getting tired of this one. This on the other side, of course, you can have other colors. I wish it would draw a little more and this would be a really awesome bow, I Arif Bodimon. With this one I shot directly nice groups, it's the AF. Uh, Turkish Chu Yue, very narrow arrow pass and this one is simply here. There's nothing wiggly, this bow simply works just nice. She Meister didn't have the long draw version now here, but it's a really pretty bow too. Then we come to Ali bow. What I don't like is this wiggly here, but it doesn't affect the shooting. So maybe you don't want to torque this one too much because it's a little wiggly, but as long as you do a normal katra and with this handle, it's just nice. On the other side, I personally don't think that the Turkish bows had leather handles, so that's why. But is as it is, and then you get the wig one of the best handles in my opinion it's still a narrow arrow pass but same as the alipo a little wiggly but awesome and then one of my short favorites this is such an incredible bow you don't think that this toy could shoot an arrow but the arrows go even this 400 grain arrows with this bow not a problem it takes a while until you get used to the small handle and how you hold it but then it's fine so like no words needed this is simply just you shoot a few arrows and you know exactly what this bow is doing and this bow does simply everything you want nice one and then last but not least of course this is my pretty one needs a little more has a wide arrow pass but draws extremely nice and shoots and I always underestimate the power of this you saw I thought I need to hold a little higher because it feels like there is nothing it's still 38 pounds, but it didn't feel like 38 pounds. And then you think, okay, I need to adjust a little. And you don't think you feel that you have to adjust, but you don't have to because this one simply kicks like nothing. So, so to say, 142 euros, you get a nice bow. 800 euros, you get a nice bow. And that's why I come back to what I said in the beginning. You need to know your requirements and what are your deciding factors are. First of all, your budget. From 140 to 900 I get you covered. Of course you can get these uh, 80, 90, 100 euro normal laminated bows, no problem, but I don't have one to show. Then it depends on your max draw and this is where this one as much fun as it is does not make the race for me. Uh, Simsek builds this Chagan, this Tatar bow with 32 inch draw and this is just awesome. This one is nice but for me it lacks a little the draw length. The same here. This in 30 or 31 inches would be most probably one of my favorite bows from Lukas Navalny. 
in 28 inches is simply not enough for me. That's why I would, if I had to choose, I would go either with Alibo, Janissary, Vec, Short Shipahi, and then maybe Shimaester or AF. And if it has to be a laminated uh, fiberglass bow, I would really consider getting, if 29 inches is enough for you, from Arif Budiman, this bending fiberglass. This is just an insane bow to shoot. There is almost no weight on the limbs, so you get all the energy transferred in the arrow, which is just nice. So there you have it. Most probably have now a thousand questions and why didn't I test this or this or this or this bow. There are 1000 other really good bows out. It's simply to show you that you can have fun 150 euros, you can have fun 360 euros, you can have fun with 300 euros, with 800 euros. It really depends on your budget and then what you like, if you like all this decoration stuff or if you like it simply plain black because you like more ninja style and what, so you really need to know what you want and for every need there is a bow. This is what I wanted to show you so there is no shortcoming, no nothing, there is for every budget there is a proper bow and they are all awesome in their own ways. Thank you again Chris for lending me the, the old Sipahi and the Shimeister bow. So I could show them at least a little. And thank you for all these amazing bow builders that they make what they do, that they do what they, you know what I mean. And for the rest, that's all I have to say for you today. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next one.